This year, already four Golden Arrow buses have been petrol bombed in the Nyanga area, with further threats coming from the taxi industry, where the Golden Arrow bus service has been warned not to enter Nyanga. Around 250,000 commuters rely on Golden Arrow buses each day for transport. And it cannot be that we allow criminals to hold the industry to ransom, threaten the lives and safety of road users, and try and muscle out competition within the transport industry. I have requested a wide-scale integrated operation on taxis in the Nyanga area, which will continue into next week. For every private vehicle, city vehicle or bus that is attacked or burnt, the illegal taxi operators can expect to see another 50 of their vehicles impounded. By midday today, we had already impounded 37 minibus taxis and amapelas operating illegally in the Nyanga area. I'm wanting those criminals orchestrating these attacks to listen very carefully. Your actions will have consequences. We will not stop until we've restored complete order and until private citizens and other public transport operators can operate safely. And this will just be the start. For too long, we have allowed mafia-like style syndicates to control the public transport sector, taking advantage of the loopholes left by ineffective national legislation. Now, with our new traffic bylaw coming into effect, the repercussions and enforcement actions will be more effective and will demand the return of law and order on our roads.